guys welcome to another video in the series of coding today we are going to do the problem which is called course schedule let's try to take an example to understand this problem so there are some courses that you have to complete let's say that this is my course schedule okay that means that i have to complete if i have to complete course 1 i should complete course 0 before doing course 1 so i have to definitely complete course 0 or course 0 is a prerequisite for the course 1 because we can see that the dependency is like this so i have to finish 0 then only i can do 1 similarly i have to finish 0 then only i can do 2 okay similarly to complete the course 3 i need to finish both course 1 and course 2 when both of them are finished then only i can start doing the course 3 okay so this is the uh, meaning of this structure that i have drawn so how do we solve this question you have to return any ordering in which we can complete the course right so in this case one such possible ordering is first start with course 0 once you have done course 0 right then you can do any of the course 1 or 2 okay so let me say i start with course 1 then let's say i decide to do course uh, course 1 after doing course 0 i will do course 1 okay then let's say i decide to do course 2 i do course 2 now when i have completed both course 1 and course 2 i can do course 3 so then I do course 3. So this is one such possible ordering, right? Another such ordering can be first I do 0, then after 0 I do course 2, after 2 I do course 1, and after course 1 I do course 3. This is also one such valid ordering, okay? So you have to return such valid ordering. But it's not possible that always there will be an ordering. Okay? Consider this case when there is a cyclic dependency. Consider this case. Now in this case, for doing course 0, you need to do course 1. But for doing course 1, you need to do course 2. But for doing course 2, you need to do course 0. So that's a cyclic dependency. It's not possible, right? You will keep on rotating cyclically and you will never be able to start from anywhere and you will never be able to end anywhere, right? So if, if such a cycle is there, then we can never uh, find any correct ordering. So in this case, you have to return that there is no ordering possible. How do we solve this question? There is an algorithm to solve this question, which is called Khan's algorithm. If you don't know it, don't worry. Like if you know BFS, that is sufficient. Uh, it is just an extension of BFS. If you know BFS, we can easily learn Khan's algorithm. So what happens in BFS algorithm, which is breadth first search is you use a Q data structure, right? Here also we are going to use a Q data structure. So let's see how we are going to solve it using Khan's algorithm. So to find out ordering, okay, uh, this ordering is also called topological sort. So to find out the correct ordering or topological sort, we declare something which is called in degree okay we just need to know the concept of in degree once we know that we can easily solve this problem what is in degree in degree is very simple it is just the number of arrows pointing towards a node okay for example consider the node 2 towards it there is one arrow pointing right so the in degree of this is one okay consider the node 3 towards it there are two arrows pointing right so uh, the in degree is 2 consider this node towards it there is one arrow pointing so the in degree is one consider this node towards it there is zero arrow pointing so the in degree of it is zero okay Wo why is in degree useful in degree means how many courses you have to finish before you can do this course right for example for the node three there are two arrows pointing means there are two dependencies dependencies means there are two courses that you have to finish then only you can do course three so when can you do course 3? You can do course 3 when its in degree becomes 0, right? Now its in degree is 2. But as soon as let's say you finish one course, right? As soon as let's say you finish this course, this in degree will go, uh, this dependency will go away, right? You, If you finish course 1, you are no longer dependent upon course 1 to get over. Okay, I mean, if it is gone, it's gone, right? If you have finished course 1, the dependency is gone for 3. So, so the current in degree for 3 is 2. But if you finish 1, then its in degree will reduce and become equal to 1, right? Similarly, when you finish this course, its in degree will reduce and become equal to 0, okay? So the in degree reduces whenever you finish any dependency, whenever you finish a prerequisite, okay? So that's it. This is the concept we need to know. Now we can use the Khan's algorithm. Khan's algorithm is just the BFS algorithm. So what we are going to do in Khan's algorithm, whichever node is having in degree 0, right? Let me write the in degree of all the nodes again. This is 0, the in degree of this is 1, the in degree of this is 1, the in degree of this is 2, right? So whichever node is having in degree 0, that means that this particular node, which is having in degree 0, 
means it has no dependency right this is like the source node it has no dependency there is no prerequisite for it so we will start by pushing this in the queue okay. so i am going to draw a queue data structure i am going to push the node zero this is the first course that i can finish because no course is dependent on it right it is a individual course i need not complete anything to do this course i can just start by doing this course okay so this is this can be the first possible uh, course so in my queue i am going to push zero and in the ordering in the answer that i am going to return right that also i can push zero okay now once i finish the course zero okay i am going to pop it from the queue but before popping it from the queue what i will do is i will see okay i will see its neighbors it has two neighbors right so if i finish the course zero i will reduce both of its dependencies right i can i can reduce this dependency and this dependency so when i finish course zero this in degree will become zero and this in degree will also become zero okay as soon as i finish course zero the in degree of 1 and 2 because 1 and 2 are neighbors of zero right both of them the in degree of both of them will become equal to zero once their in degree is zero i can push them in the queue right so next i am going to push the nodes 1 and the nodes 2 in the queue because now their in degree is also zero okay now in the answer also i can push 1 and i can push 2 okay now let me see let me pick up the next node which is node 1 in the queue okay if i finish the node 1 then the neighbor of it right the neighbor is 3 right so that's in degree will reduce by 1 okay now let me pop this also from the queue so now on the top of the queue i have the node 2 right i have the node 2 on the top of the queue now in the queue when i have the node 2 if i pop it if i finish the course 2 right then what will happen the in degree of its neighbor the in degree of its neighbor will again reduce and it will become zero now 3 also has a in degree of zero so i can push 3 in the queue right so i will push the node 3 in the queue and also in the answer once i push it i will also push it in the answer okay now 3 has no more neighbors so we can just finish it and pop it from the queue so this is how we are easily able to get the ordering and this is the answer that we have to return okay so now let's quickly code it then it will be much more clearer okay so what is the logic first of all we have to declare a queue okay and then we have to declare something which is called in degree so as we discussed in degree is just the number of nodes pointing towards it right number of dependencies that is has so we can declare initially a in degree vector okay. now we can iterate over the prerequisites uh are a prerequisites matrix that is given to us so prerequisites let me iterate over that now let's see in what form it is given it's given like this right 1 0 so this means that right what does this mean this means that um if it is given if in the question it is given 1 0 that means that 1 is a node okay and 0 comes before that so 0 you can see that the arrow is pointing towards one this this is your code so uh, if if we have this vector v suppose this vector v this is v of 0 this is v of 1 so what we can do we can declare a adjacency matrix and in the adjacency matrix we can say that v of 1 the neighbor of v of 1 is equal to v of 0 right because you can see that v of 0 is dependent on v of 1 unless we finish v of 1 unless we finish 0 we cannot uh, do the course 1 okay so what we are going to do let me declare a adjacency matrix so vector uh, vector int adjacency matrix okay and what i can do so v of 1 in the adjacency matrix of v of 1 what i am going to do i am going to push back v of 0 this means that first okay what does this mean we need to complete first the course 0 then only we can go to course 1 okay this is the meaning of that now when i do this i can also increase the in degree now see this node whenever i do this right whenever you see one is dependent right one is having one arrow towards it so the in degree of v of 0 will increase and the in degree of this will become equal to one right initially if the in degree of this is 0 i can increase the in degree of it and it will become equal to one next time when i increase the in degree i can make it two and so on right so whenever i have such a declaration the in degree is going to increase okay now in the adjacency uh, matrix i can also give the size of it now let me go forward now what i can do is in the queue right 
I I have to push the nodes which have in degree of zero because they are source nodes. They are not dependent on anything, right? We can easily do them first. Okay. So first, let me declare a answer vector. Now what I can do? I can iterate over this um, in degree. Okay. I'm going to iterate over the um, in degree uh, vector and what i'm going to do is if in degree of any of my node is zero that means it's a source node right it has no no dependency so what i can do is i can just push it in the queue okay i can simply push it in the queue and also i can push it in the answer vector because i can easily do these courses without doing any course before them right they are not dependent on any course that in degree is zero okay there are no prerequisites for those courses okay so this is it okay now i can also declare a visited Okay, I can also declare a visited array to keep mark of which nodes I am visiting, right? So I can just declare. Initially, I can make everything as false, but once I am visiting this and pushing this in answer, right? So I can make visited of i equal to true. Okay. Now I can apply the BFS. What is BFS? BFS I can apply, uh, which is I keep running my loop until the queue has nodes, right? So while node of queue dot empty. I'm going to extract the node. So let me extract the node. So at the front, let's say, okay, let me give a better name. Let me say the node that I have at front. Okay, that node I'm going to extract and I'm going to pop it, right? And now I'm going to visit all its neighbors. So as we discuss in the logic, visit its neighbors, visit its neighbors, and in the neighbors, what I'm going to do? So first of all, let me get its neighbors, right? How do I get? I have made the adjacency matrix, right? From the adjacency matrix, I can just get the neighbor matrix. So let me write it vector int neighbors, okay? From just the adjacency matrix, I can get its neighbors because I had uh, made the adjacency matrix here, right? So whenever I see a neighbor, I am pushing it in the adjacency matrix. So now I can uh, get the neighbors, and now I can visit each neighbor of this, right? So I can visit neighbor. And now I can check if the neighbor is not already visited, right? If the neighbor is not already visited, then what I can do is I can just go and I can reduce the in degree of the neighbor because once I am finishing this course, the dependency reduces. So the simple logic, this is the simple line of code, which is the most important. So I'm going and reducing the in degree of the neighbor. Now, if the neighbor's in degree becomes equal to zero, that means it also doesn't have any dependency, right? So if its in degree becomes equal to zero. Then in that case, what I can do? I can push it in the queue. I can push it in the queue. I can also push it in the answer vector. So I can also push it in the answer vector. And apart from pushing it in the answer vector, I can also mark it as visited as true. Okay, that's it. This is the entire code. Now, let me finally write the line which is most important, which is return answer. Okay, so I'm going to finally return answer. Okay, now there is just one more thing. It's not always possible that ordering is there, right? How do we check? How do we check whether um, I can get a ordering or not? So I can just keep a count, right? Okay, see, I can just keep a count. Okay, see, if if it is possible to do the ordering in all such cases, right? If I just keep a count and I keep a count of whichever nodes I'm visiting, in this case, I'm going to visit all four nodes, right? So after the entire loop finishes, my count will be equal to four. So I can check. If my count is equal to four, I have visited all the nodes. That means our ordering is possible. But in such cases, right? In such cases where I have cyclic dependency, right? Okay. Let's see what will happen in such cases when I have cyclic dependency. What is the in degree of this? Okay. Uh, sorry, this is not a cyclic dependency. Let me re rewrite it. This is a cyclic dependency, right? Okay. So what is the in degree of this? The in degree of this is one. Similarly, the in degree of this is one, and the in degree of this is one. Okay. Now what will happen? None of the nodes have uh, in degree zero, right? None of the nodes is a source node in this case, okay? But um, there can be other instances also, okay? Let me take this example. Let's say we have one more node four, okay? Let's say it has in degree zero, okay? So we so even in this case, no ordering is possible. Let's see what will happen if we apply the Khan's algorithm here. So in the queue, what are you going to do? You are going to first push the node four, right? Because it has in degree zero, and once you push it, okay? You you are going to go and make its neighbors in degree. Uh, sorry, and by the way, this in degree will become two now. Okay, in this case, the in degree of this is two because there are two arrows pointing towards it. Okay, now what will happen is once uh, the node four is pushed out of the queue, right? The in degree of zero, which is its neighbor, that will reduce and become equal to one. Okay, so now what will happen? None of the nodes have in degree equal to 
none of the nodes have n degree equal to zero, right? So none of the nodes will go and get pushed in the queue. Okay. So what will happen is these three nodes are never going to get pushed in my queue, right? Because their n degree never becomes equal to zero. So these three nodes never get pushed in the queue. So you can keep a count in the queue. Okay. So in the queue, what happens is the count is just going to remain one. Only this node got pushed in the queue, and only we iterated over the node. But the number of nodes that I have is four. So if everything had was right, all the four nodes should have gone in the queue. But it didn't happen, right? Because the count is only one in this case. So that means there is no ordering possible. So we can use a count variable, okay? And what if we can do? Whenever we are visiting a node or adding it an answer, we can just increment the count, okay? We can just increment the count. Now what we can do in the end, right? In the end, we can just check. Okay, so in the end, what I can do is I can just check if okay, if my count is does not equal to n, right? That means I have not visited all the nodes. I can just return empty array. That means no ordering is possible. Okay. That's it. Now I can run this code and see if it's working for all the test cases. So there's some compilation error. Visited was not declared in the scope. I have made a spelling mistake. Let me run and see again if it's working. Again, there's some compilation error. No match for operator. If not visited, okay. Here I should give if not visited neighbor. If I have not visited the neighbor, let me quickly run and see again. So it's working fine. Now let me submit and see. It should work for all the test cases. So it's working. Thank you for being patient and listening.